Getting your music plays can be life-changing. It can take you to a whole new level. You can start charging more. You can put their names in your credentials so people can see who you've worked with. You can start looking at buying new equipment because you've made so much money from getting that beat placed. So imagine you get an email saying, what's good fam? I like that wannabe beat. I'm Predator, I work with Mist. I made one of his biggest songs under Warner Brothers Records. We're working on a new project right now. I've got an opportunity if you're interested. So you get an email like that, you're thinking, yes, this is it, I've made it. All that hard work that I've been putting in, it's paid off. I could leave my day job and make this full time. But what if that email's fake? What if it's a scam? How do you know if it's a scam? The chances are it is, it is a scam. This is the third email I've had in less than two weeks. I've seen videos from other producers in the community talking about the same thing, having the same discussion about these emails that keep being sent out to us producers. And being part of the community, I think it's important for me to share my opinion and to help you, to help us just to stay on top of this because it seems like we're an easy target at the moment and we're getting exploited. Uh, I'm not going to lie, when I seen the email, especially the last one, well, not the last one, the one before that, I, I nearly got sucked in, I thought, I'm, I ran to my wife and said, look at this email I've got. This big producer has heard my beat on YouTube and wants to, to work with me. I, I, I honestly thought that it was genuine until, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Yeah, we're getting exploited. We're an easy target. And I know for, I know full well, if I'd have got that email 10, 15 years ago, I would have thought I would have fell for it. And I probably would have, I would have got scammed. So I'm here to help you to, to, to see what they're doing so that you don't fall for the trap. It's a honey trap. They, they're getting us with these well-written emails. It's not really well, like it's not well-written, but we're going to go through it so you can just spot, you can spot the fake. But they think they're smart because what they're doing is they're dangling carrots. Yeah, they're making you think. they Because they know that as a producer, getting a placement or working with a big artist is, is something that we dream about. Is I mean, I mean, if I speak for the majority of producers, if we place some some music somewhere, that's a dream come true. It can, it's life changing. And, and this is what they're doing. They're, they're exploiting that. You've got to be careful. You've got to be. So how do, you, how do you know when you're being taken for a fool? How do you know when, when you're being exploited? There's, there's one big, big, big thing that you're going to, you know when you see it. But when you get the email and you open it, I've got an email here. Nathan, I don't know if, the, the, if Predator's name is Nathan. I don't know. I could probably check that out to see. But what they do is they put your, say they, so what they do is they put your beat in the email and then they'll put the name of your beat as well and the, but they always put in oh hey fam like i don't really hey fam yeah i don't really do that in my emails if i'm sending sending it to someone but that's if that's how you talk and you do your emails then that's that's fine but that's i feel like that's a little bit of a giveaway uh, they also put your your beat name in they'll put a link to your beat in there as well so you think to yourself oh this well, that is my beat i made that beat do you know what I'm saying? So it's like they've done their research and you got your email, got a beat that you've done, chat it in this template that they're using and sending it out. And even in the email, it'll have at the bottom confidentiality notice. And when you read through it, it looks got all this jargon and spill talking about this email has been sent to you and it's gone to the wrong email, individual or entity to whom it's addressed. Like it, try, it doesn't match up. It's got all this like really well-spoken stuff at the top, at the bottom with in red, strictly prohibited. So you you automatically think that yeah this is like this is the genuine article but don't fall for it. So first of all you got the the grammar how they're talking in the email and then what you want to do is second thing is check the email address. And they're getting smart. They're trying to put numbers before the actual name of the producer to make you think oh yeah this could be the actual producer. It's not the producer's not going to hit you up like that. I don't think they're going to hit you up like that. I feel like if a producer was to hit you up in that way it would be it would. There was, I don't know, it would feel more genuine for me. And I don't feel, especially when I've got two and three, four or five of these emails that is exactly the same wording, apart from they've, they've swapped out the beat name, they've swapped out the producer's name. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's like, it's kind of, it's a template that they're using and you can see what's going on. So the third thing is, and this is the big thing. So you've replied to the email and you say, because you don't know at first, so you reply to them and then they'll say to you, yeah, I can play something for you, but you're gonna to have to pay an upfront fee. Red flag, red flag. Cause why Why would you need to pay anything upfront? It's, it's a beat that is getting placed. So all they need to do is just send the beat to the artist and for the artist to listen to it. If they like it, then they're gonna use it. So why Why the exchange of money? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So that is a major, major red flag. 
do not fall for that one. As soon as they ask you for money, just know. And that's how I knew with the second to last email that I got that I replied and said, oh yeah, cool, yeah. I appreciate you getting in touch, man. This sounds good, like a good opportunity. I'm, I'm done. And then they said to me, oh yeah, cool. So what you need to do is send me some, send me an upfront fee of, I can't remember the amount, I'll find it. I can't find it, but I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. But then when they said to me about the placement and how much it's going to cost me out of front, I just knew straight away that, nah, <laughs> this ain't genuine. Be careful, peeps. Don't fall for it. Check the email address, look at the grammar. And thirdly, if they say you've got to pay a fee, don't do it. Don't part of your money. Just keep your money. If you're not sure, speak to someone who, who knows about scams or just, just drop me a quick message on Instagram or on this video. And yeah. I would be happy to look at your your email. Um, yeah, man, we've got we've got to be careful, <laughs> seriously, because they're out here. And they're trying to make their money. I know everyone's got to eat, but when when you're trying to eat and exploiting someone's naivety, naivete is what Gary V says. Then yeah, I'm not down for that. In the next video is what YouTube says you're gonna like. So I'll see you over there.